The fund's founder and general partner, Katie Stanton, joins us now. Katie, thank you for joining us. My first question, frankly, and it's kind of a, a big one, why, I don't understand why there's only 2.8% of these funds going to female founders. I, I just, it doesn't make sense to me. Are there not enough female founders? No, it doesn't make sense to me either. I think it's a great opportunity. I think that there are a lot of amazing female founders and a lot of amazing people of color founders who have been left out of the system and they've been underestimated. And I'm really excited. I think of this as this amazing opportunity to be able to back their changing world positive ideas. And, and Katie, does it also mean there are better returns potentially available because some of these founders and their companies have been overlooked thus far and, and therefore maybe the valuations or the growth opportunities are, are better relative to the market? Absolutely. The data has shown that when you have more diverse founders and more diverse leadership teams, that you're able to see a lot better financial returns. So I think that this is an enormous opportunity for more women founders, for more women fund managers and more female investors to be able to move the industry forward. So why is now a good time for you to launch this fund? And if there is a, a female founded company out there that's listening, can you explain exactly what you're looking for? Yeah, I think it's a great time because I do think that founders are looking for something different. There's a lot of capital out there and founders are looking for people like me, looking for other types of investors who have operational experience and product and marketing and bringing um, products to scale globally. They're also looking for people that may have a different industry expertise in climate and life sciences and other different types of functions and industries. So I do think that there is a, a there are a lot of opportunities, more ways to get funded. Um, I'm looking for exceptional founders who um, have these world positive ideas. I'm always looking for at least one technical founder and looking to you know learn more about them. Katie, it's been a bit of a trap for people to predict kind of the peak of the private funding, you know, Silicon Valley uh, cycle. I mean, at least five years people have been trying to say that. But still, no matter, I guess, how you slice it, it seems like things have been rolling on for a while. You mentioned a lot of capital focused in uh, on these areas. What businesses, what types of businesses do you think have a lot of opportunity right now that people have not fully explored to date? I think there are a number of different new trends. I do think that we're going to see a lot more um, AI, machine learning types of software companies. I do think we're going to see a lot of really interesting enterprise SaaS companies. We know that those have been really good to invest in. I think Beyond uh, Meat and Impossible Burger have really led the way for more food tech and ag tech. And I'm very hopeful that we're going to see a whole new wave of climate tech to be able to address some of the pressing challenges that we have in front of us.